Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, y'all. Chosen one. We're in the great book of Exodus, chapter 36. Let's begin. Then brought Bezalel and Ohilab, and every wise hearted man, <laughs> and who, y'all, put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all y'all had commanded. And Moshe called Bezalel. And only Ab, and every wise hearted man in whose heart Yah had put wisdom, even everyone whose heart stirred up, stirred him up to come unto the work to do it. They received Moshe all the offering which the children of Yahshua had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it withal. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. And all the wise men that wrought all the work of the sanctuary came every man from his work. Which they had, which they made, and they spake to Moshe, saying, "The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which Yah commanded to make." And Moshe gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, "Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering in the sanctuary." So the people were restrained from bringing, for the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. And every wise-hearted man among them that wrought the work of the tabernacle made ten curtains of fine twine linen and blue and purple and scarlet and cherubims of cunning work made he them the length of one curtain was twenty eight cubits and the breadth of one curtain four cubits the curtain were all of one size and he coupled the five curtains onto another the other five curtains he coupled one to another and he made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain from the cell, from the cellage and the couplings, likely, likewise he made in the uttermost side side of another curtain in the couplings of the second. It's always the blue, like when I wear my tassels, like when you wear your tassels, it always has to be blue in your tassels. You know what I'm saying? Fifty loops made he in one curtain, and fifty loops made he in the edge of the curtain, which was in the couplings of the second. The loops held one curtain to another. Very, very nice. And he made fifty tacks of gold and coupled the curtains one to another with the tacks, so it became one tabernacle. And he made curtains of goat's hair for he, for the tent over tabernacle. Eleven curtains he made them. The length of one curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits was the breadth of one curtain. The eleven curtains were of one size, and he coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves. He made fifty loops upon the uttermost edges of the curtain, and the couplings and fifty loops made he upon the edge of the curtain, which coupled the second, and he made fifty tacks of brass to couple the tent together that it might be one. And he made a covering for the tent of ram skin dyed red, and the co covering of badger skin above that. And he made boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood standing up. The length of a board was ten cubits, and the breadth of a board one cubit and a half. One board had two tenons, equally distant one from another. Thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side, southward. Fourteen sockets of silver he made under the twenty boards. Two sockets under one board for his two ten, ten, tenons two sockets under another board for his two tenants and for the other side of the tabernacle which he tore at the north corner he made twenty boards and there are forty sockets of silver two sockets under one board two sockets under another board and for the sides of the tabernacle westward he made six boards two boards made he for the corners of the tabernacle and two sides <clears throat> and they were coupled beneath and coupled together at the head thereof to one ring thus he did to both of them in both the corners, and there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver under every board, two sockets. And he made bars of shittim wood, five of the boards of this one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the four boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars. And he made the middle bar to shoot through the boards from one to end to another, overlaid the boards with gold, and made their rings of gold. To be placed for the bars, overlaid the bars with gold, and made a veil of blue, purple, scarlet, fine twine, and linen. Sorry, <laughs> with cherubims made he a bit cunning work, made there are two four pillars of shittim wood, overlaid with gold, their hooks were of gold, he cast them four sockets of gold, 
four sockets of silver, I mean. And he made a hanging for the tabernacle door of blue, purple, scarlet, fine twine linen, and needlework. Five pillars of it with their hooks, overlaid their ch chapters with laser gold, with their five sockets of brass. Alright. So basically, this chapter is talking about the. Um, um, What is this talking about? I'm talking about the sanctuary, the holy sanctuary, uh, and how the curtains were supposed to be looped and everything. And my uh, goodness, that was just a lot of, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of talk there, but uh, sleepy. I'm gonna hit the hit the bed. So that was uh, Exodus chapter 36. And there's a lot of talk about the veil and the sockets in the tabernacle. And uh, you know how workmen came there free, free willingly to help work on it. All right, it's your boy, last chosen one, Shalom.